Well, look who's back in the garage. It's good old Long Dong Marquis. Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'd like to tell you about a little feature that I've been enjoying over the years, and that's disabling the belt minder feature, also known as the seat belt warning chime. Now, why on earth would anybody want to disable that? I don't know. But for my application, I'm in my car a lot, sitting in the garage with the engine running or the key on and the engine off. And I'm either sitting in the driver's seat or the passenger seat, uh, working on something or trying to fix something. So listening to that bell uh, going on all the time is less than pleasant. Or uh, I put, sometimes I play two-car money and I move the Merc out onto the driveway and then pull the Vic into the garage, and I just can't be bothered to buckle up for that 10-foot drive. So from my understanding, uh, all Panther cars from 1992 to 2011 uh, have this feature, and it can be deactivated and activated. So the procedure I'm going to show you today will work on all 2005 to 2011 Panther cars, and if you've got a 2004 or older I'll put a link to the owner's manual uh, down in the description and then you can just pull it up and review it. It's in the seating and safety belt section around page 100. So before you start this uh, procedure, uh, you've got to make sure your parking brake is set, your gear shift is in park, the ignition is off, and all seats are unbuckled. So. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this on the first try. So the first thing you got to do is you turn the key to the run position, but don't start the engine. And now what we have to do is we have to wait for 60 seconds for the uh, seat belt warning lamp, which you can see right here with my left index finger. Uh, we're going to wait for 60 seconds for this light to turn off. And once that turns off, then we can uh, move on to the next uh, step. So maybe I'll do this in real time or maybe I'll trim it out of the video. I really don't know. <clears throat> So uh, while we're waiting for that to go off, the next step is I'm going to have to buckle and unbuckle the driver's seat nine times at a moderate speed. So get ready for that. <clears throat> okay, it just went off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we can see that the airbag warning lamp is illuminated for three seconds, and then we've got to do it one more time. And now you can see that the airbag warning lamp flashed 12 times in three seconds to confirm the deactivation, and that's how you do it. I just did it. So previously it was activated and I just deactivated it. And if you want to reactivate it again, it's the same procedure. And you'll need to do this for the driver's seat belt. And if you want to do it for the passenger seat belt, you got to do the same thing. So you'll have to move over to the passenger seat and uh, perform the same procedure. And um, Yes, you do have to sit in the passenger seat because it has that weight sensor in there uh, for the airbag uh, to let the computer know uh, there's somebody in that chair. Okay, um, <clears throat> that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.